Welcome to another backpacking packing video. This is my second backpacking packing video that I've done. My first one was more trekking. So for like heavy outdoor adventure, plus it had all my camera gear. And this one is specifically for a more uh, beachy, more cityscaping general travel style that you would find in Europe and Southeast Asia. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through what I would pack for a two week or longer backpacking trip. So let's get started. So this is the backpack I recommend. It is the Osprey Farpoint 70, meaning it is 70 liters. There's also a smaller version, which is 45 or 55 liters, um, but that's a little bit too small for me because I pack a lot of stuff. But if you are a lighter packer, um, then that might be more suitable for you. But Osprey 70 is great. Um, the reasons why I love this backpack and I highly recommend it is because for travel, it opens like <laughs> a suitcase. It opens like a suitcase. So when you are packing, you can just put all of your items here so it's so easy to pack and unpack. It makes life so much easier when you're on the road. The main pockets lock. So this is a locking. Um, it has holes to put a lock through so you can lock up the main compartment of your backpack. Also very important for security. Next reason I love it is because, well, these are the backpack straps which are super comfortable, but when you are transporting it in airports, it has this. This like protective flap that puts all of your buckles and your straps and hides it away, making it so easy to transport. It's fantastic. The last feature of why I love this backpack is a feature that I don't actually have is because there is a separate detachable carry-on bag that you that comes with this backpack that acts as a day bag. Um, my mom is actually borrowing it for her trip in Europe, but this is another day bag. It kind of looks very similar to this. This is also another Hosprey um, backpack, but it has a detachable day bag. So you can kind of detach or attach your day bag on there. So this would be my day bag. It's a very small, typical day bag that I could take on any kind of treks or travel adventures that I go on. Now, you might not want to have a backpack like that, a, bit, a day bag like that, if you're say traveling Europe or even in Southeast Asia, it depends on your backpacking style. Um, so here are a couple other options that I like to bring depending on where I'm going. Now, if I'm going to Europe, I usually like to have some sort of nicer purse because people dress up and I like to be a little bit more fashionable in Europe. So what I would bring is either a small purse like that, which has a strap, that I can strap across my body, like so. Um, if I want something that's a little bit bigger, then I would bring a slightly larger size purse, again, with a body strap. And I could strap along myself like that. Always want a body strap if you're carrying a purse. So that's just an option for you. You know, if you don't have a bunch of camera gear and you want something a little bit more, I don't know, stylish for your European backpacking adventures in Southeast Asia, if you're traveling in Southeast Asia, you don't necessarily want to have a big bulky purse. Big bulky purses don't really fit in in Southeast Asia or any beach location. So a lovely, I don't even know what these are called. Um, hippie totes, let's call it that. But it's a, it's kind of like a sarong beach bag sort of situation. So it's nice, it's flowy. You can keep all your stuff in there. Just make sure it has a zipper. Always make sure any day bag that you have and that you're carrying can go across your body and that it can zip up. So those are our kind of three options that we have and you can customize again depending on where you're going and how much stuff you want to carry around with you during the day. All right now moving on to general packing gear. First thing a small umbrella because it rains around the world. Next off wilderness wipes or you can use these are basically like baby wipes. These are amazing when you're feeling gross and disgusting and you want to like wipe your body off. Great. Um, just an extra little sack that I can put stuff in. Um, next we have is a, this is a waterproof uh, cover for your backpack. Very important because water is bad. And then I have my microfiber, microfiber towel. So I have two of them. This one is a full body towel. 
So these are quick dry antibacterial um, towels. Fantastic for travel because they dry really quick and they're not big and heavy and they don't take a ton of room in your backpack. Um, so I have one and that's for like beach and body. So I like to have a separate towel for my face uh, because I'm washing it multiple times a day and I wanna make sure that the towel is really clean <laughs> because my full body towel that can be used at the beach as well, so. Flashlight's pretty important when you are staying in hostels or dorms. Um, heavy duty bug spray. Bugs, mosquitoes are awful. Heavy duty bug spray. Very important. I got some general locks to lock up my bags. This is a Swiss Army knife, so just a general pocket knife. Uh, this is um, emergency cord. So like this is like rope cord that you can use if you ever need to tie anything up. Um, this is like travel utensils. Fantastic because sometimes, a lot of times, you're eating on the road or you maybe you don't have a utensil. Hey, look, now you do. So this is my pack safe um, travel security cord. So this is like a heavy duty wired, uncuttable cord that I can wrap around and string my backpack on if I ever need to leave my big bag anywhere. I never leave my smaller bag or my electronics unattended, but sometimes you have to leave your big bag somewhere. And if you don't feel safe, you can basically tie this up to anything and string it through, put a lock on it, and your bag is safe and secure. Laundry powder. This is double bagged powder laundry because I know I'm gonna be doing washing on the road. Um, I don't like liquid because liquid is likes to spill places. So powder is great for that. Uh, I have a spare pillowcase that I like to use. So if I don't have a pillow and I wanna make shift the pillow by stuffing stuff in there, that's great for this. Um, a laundry bag. This is just a mesh bag to put my laundry in when I do my laundry. Now, I'm a bit obsessive when it comes to footwear because I hate having the wrong footwear. If my feet are not comfortable, then if I'm gonna be walking all day and traveling, I'm not gonna be very happy, I'm not gonna be a comfortable person. So I like to make sure I have always the proper footwear for any kind of travel that I might end up doing. So this is my selection. Let's go through these options. First off, Flip-flops, this is essential for anything, any kind of travel because showering in hostels, you're gonna need a pair of flip-flops. Daily walking shoes, so these are like my, if I'm going out adventuring, these are the shoes I'm gonna wear all day long traveling. Now, if I'm in Southeast Asia, I might not need these shoes. Um, you really don't. You can get by with most of your travels in flip-flops in Asia, but I still like to have a pair of solid walking shoes. Next off is a pair of running shoes or fitness shoes. I like to do activities and trust me, <laughs> there are gonna be opportunities when you're gonna have activities to do. So a pair of fitness shoes are important. Now, when you go out in Southeast Asia, nobody, nobody really wears heels. You can bring heels, but most people are gonna be in flip flops. So I like to bring a pair of nicer sandals that I can wear if I was going out um, for the evening or clubbing or if I need an event, etc. Now, if I was going to Europe, in Europe, people do wear heels. So I like to bring a pair of wedges. I always bring wedges. They are the most comfortable, most versatile shoe, and they just can withstand being packed in a backpack, whereas regular shoes, uh, not always so much. Purses. Um, now, this is kind of like an evening going out purse or clutch that I could bring if, I was, if I'm going out in Europe or if I'm going out in Asia, you always wanna have some sort of going out bag or purse or clutch that you can take with you. Sunglasses, because it's summer, I like to bring two pairs of sunglasses. So first, I like to bring a pair of summery, kind of like plasticky beach sunglasses. So these are sunglasses that I'm gonna wear if I'm going to the beach or if I'm doing activities. Sunglasses that are like a little bit more, I don't know, less fancy, a little bit more rugged. And the second pair of sunglasses I like to do are a little bit more of a fancier sunglasses, a little bit more nicer if I wanna you know, have a cute outfit or something. I like to have one like beachy sunglass, one nicer sunglass. You're gonna need two pairs of sunglasses in Asia and in Europe in the summertime, so. Then I have a little jewelry bag. So this is just like a little bit of jewelry that I'm gonna bring. Um, I don't bring, like to bring a ton of jewelry. This is obviously subjective to how much jewelry you wanna bring, but um, I like to bring like a couple rings, couple earrings, couple necklaces, just so I can like 
ha like mix and match and make cute outfits. I like jewelry. Jewelry just spices things up. But none of them are like expensive items or kind of like mid-range. Depending, if I'm going to Europe, I'm gonna be a bring a little bit more jewelry. If I'm going to Southeast Asia, I'm bringing like almost no jewelry. You're really not gonna be wearing jewelry in Southeast Asia at all. And of course, I'm gonna bring a hat. I love my travel hats. Travel hats are so freaking versatile for so many reasons. Clothing time, yay, this is the fun part. All right, first things first is a comfortable lounge hoodie sweatshirt jacket. Um, basically, it's just a comfortable sweatshirt that you can wear and be a scrub in and be really comfortable and warm. I usually travel in this, so I wear these on the airplanes all the time because it's freezing on airplanes, but you definitely want one of those. Next off, we've got bathing suits. All right, I definitely I bring two pairs of bathing suits uh, with me on my travels. One is a more sportier bathing suit, so something I can do like scuba diving, snorkeling, um, jet skiing, adventure sports. Another one is more of a lounging, poolside, beachside bikini that's more fun and colorful. We've got ourselves a pair of pajamas, so just a pair of comfortable shorts and a $3 Thailand t-shirt. Yeah, man! So I just like to sleep in that. So I have about four pairs of socks here because if I'm going to Asia, that's probably all I need because I'm wearing flip-flops most of the time. If I'm in Europe, I might want to add one more pair of socks. Next, for both Southeast Asia or Europe, I like to pack a pair of beach, like a beach outfit. Um, now this is going to be a very lightweight, loose, kind of like pair of shorts and a nice like shirt. And this is like a fun, colorful beach outfit. When I pick my clothing, you're gonna notice a theme of synthetic materials. I try to avoid cotton at all costs. Cotton is just not very good for travel. So I stick to things like polyesters because they just dry so much quicker and they're so small, like they can crunch up and they can pack away so much more easier than cotton scam. Then I will typically pack one pair of long pants. I like to keep it lighter colored jeans. Um, I do like a pair of jeans. Um, they're really valuable in the evening. It can get quite cold in Europe. You're gonna be wearing jeans, you know, in the evenings quite a bit. Um, I like to keep it to a lighter color, not go super dark. Um, that makes it a little bit nicer, but not white. You're not gonna want white pants because white is just awful for any type of backpacking, really. Next is shorts. So I like to do three pairs of shorts. So I do well, these are all jean shorts. I don't really have an issue with jean shorts because I just find them the most comfortable. But I'll do three pairs and a black pair that can kind of be a little bit more dressy up. And, and then two jean pairs, which are a little bit more casual. If you are traveling in Europe and you want something a little bit nicer, a little bit fancy, you can be brave and bold and go with a white short instead of one of the jean shorts. Uh, but in Asia, mm-mm. Stay away from white because they will not stay white for very long if you're backpacking in Southeast Asia. Next, I will typically do about three regular t-shirts. So these are just plain everyday t-shirts plus the one that I'm currently wearing. Um, I am wearing a outfit that I would pack. So another one of my plain typical t-shirts as well as black leggings, the staple for any traveler, black plain leggings. So this is an outfit that I would pack with me all my travels, but I'm wearing it because you also need to wear an outfit when you pack. Next, I like to have a couple nice tops or like evening tops or just like nicer looking tops. This is another one that could also be a beach top, just a nice cute sleeveless. Again, lightweight, light drying, easy to pack. Um, and then something a little bit more summery, some, and something more fun. Just so if I wanna dress up or wear something a little bit nicer, one of my biggest things in Asia and Europe are rompers and like one piece outfits. These are so amazing and versatile because you can dress them up, you can dress them down. So I typically like to bring about two summery like romper dresses. So this is just a typical, just a one piece romper. Um, easy, I can wear it at beaches, I can wear it traveling. Asia, Europe. Uh, this is another, this is like a cute little summer dress. Again, dress it up, I can dress it down. I can wear it to the beach. I can wear it out traveling, um, Asia or Europe. Next, I have more like evening, dressing up, dressing down. Another just colorful, lightweight, 
like polyester style dress. Um, and then my go-to longer romper. So this is a full body length romper. It'll go all the way to my feet. Uh, and then it's kind of got like a spaghetti strap it's there. So I can dress this up, I can dress this down. I've worn this a million times on my travels and it's fantastic. Now, if you're going to be going to Southeast Asia, you are gonna need something called temple pants because there are lots of temples. Um, and when you're there, you need to cover up your legs. You have to be covered, your shoulders and your legs have to be covered. So you could buy these in Asia. I have a pair with me from my Asia trip, but they look like these. They look kind of like MC Hammer pants and they're really like light and they're kind of really cool and you see them everywhere in Asia. Um, but you definitely need a pair of long uh, temple pants to wear when you are when you are traveling in Asia. In Europe, you don't need temple pants, but in Asia you do. I also like to bring a nicer long sleeve shirt. Now this is a shirt that I can wear out, like I can kind of dress up or I can dress down, but uh, usually a, a flannel or a like jean style, I guess, I think you can call that, it. this is like a jean style jacket, works fantastic. Um, you don't really need this in Asia, but you could bring it. It's really warm there most of the time, so you're not really gonna be in long sleeve um, shirts, but I like to bring it regardless because I don't like being cold. Next we have athletic gear. So I like to bring a pair of like black shorts to do um, kind of exercises or any kind of activities in. Plus I'll bring two different sports bras and an athletic shirt. I only need, I only usually bring one athletic shirt um, because they are it's super easy to wash. Again, lightweight material, washable material. You're seeing this theme. Everything is super easy to wash and lightweight. Um, and then I go on to my undergarments. So here are a couple of them. These are my bralettes. Bralettes are amazing. They are so light and comfortable and they pack great as a backpacker. All right, now we move on to beauty products. Aha! All right, first things first is a mini hair straightener. Ladies, mini hair straightener um, because we don't like to look complete scrubs on the road. That's kind of important. Um, a hair dryer. Now this is kind of a uh, personal preference. If you're gonna be staying in a lot of hotels, I wouldn't bother with a hair dryer. There's gonna be hair dryers there. If you're staying, if you're going to Southeast Asia, you're probably not gonna be blow drying your hair because there's so much humidity that you're gonna blow dry it and it's just gonna get kind of wavy anyway, regardless of what you do. So I wouldn't really worry about it. If you're going to Europe though, a blow dryer is quite nice if you're staying in hostels and stuff because if you like, I don't know, blow drying your hair, if you like nice hair, styled hair, personal preference. You can kind of judge depending on if you want one or not. But yeah, travel hair dryer. Next, I have my toiletries bag. Now I'm not gonna go with, through what's in here because I made a separate video talking about my toiletries, which I will link down below there so you can go watch it. Next, I have my first aid kit and my makeup bag. Now I'm not gonna post what's in these two because I have two separate videos for my first aid kit and my makeup and what's in my makeup bag and those are coming out this weekend. So I will leave the links down below which you can watch them in a few days time. Next up I have kind of like more gadgets and these are typically things that are gonna go in my day bag. So a water bottle, water is important, stay hydrated. A cellular phone, also important. I have my cord. Um, this is a power pack. I always like to carry um, an extra charge for my electronic device. This is actually called Robocop and it is a emergency al siren. So if you are, it's a safety device. So if you are traveling by yourself or something, um, I don't want to do this on camera because it's actually going to like, it's 120 decibels, sounds like an ambulance. But basically if you pull this tab, an alarm sounds and then you can just like put the tab back and the alarm set quiet. So if you're ever in any, like if you're in a sketchy situation or, you know, it's a safety thing, you can just pull it, alarm will sound, ha, ah, it's just scare away people. But yeah, so I like to carry that around if you are, if you want to feel like a little bit more safe when traveling. Um, next we have my notebook. I always carry a notebook with me. So a notebook, we have my laptop and my power cord for my laptop. Now, if you don't need a laptop for like heavy duty editing or other stuff, bring an iPad, bring a tablet. There's no reason to bring a big bulky laptop if 
all you need is really a tablet when you're traveling. I also like to bring an external hard drive because you want to be doubling up on all of your photos and videos that you take. You don't want to lose that. Um, and yeah, so I like to have, make sure I have double photo storage, or like external hard drive for all my photos. So this is just a pair of heads, headphones, nice, simple Apple head um, earbuds. Um, I carry on bigger headphones. Again, personal preference and how big of headphones you want to carry. This is a charger for my camera, point and shoot camera. And if you're, but if you're like me, obviously, like I said, um, I went through more in depth my camera gear in my previous packing video. Adapters, I always bring two of those. Um, those are multi-country, so they'll do both Europe and they'll do Asia and they'll do uh, North America. They'll do every country. Always get those multi adapters that have multiple plugs. Uh, my passport and my passport case. So a passport holder, passport case, plus all my important documents that I need with me on my travels. on whoop, a little <laughs> swing like this all right so there you go this is what I wear on my travels and this is how I look on my travels complete with my handy dando turtle day bag all turtled up and I'm ready to go so this is how I backpack Southeast Asia and or Europe I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I make tons of other travel advice, tips, hacks, packing videos, as well as other travel videos. All right, happy travels. Bye.